J-Rod is off to a poor start this season. What's wrong with him? Let's discuss. Hello sports fans and welcome back to another episode of Beat the Odds. I'm going to give you my thoughts on Julio Rodriguez's start to this season. If you like this content, then please smash that like button. A special thanks goes to all of our subscribers who have been watching these videos as you now account for 23% of all viewers. To the other 77% of viewers that haven't yet subscribed, I encourage you to do so as it helps me create these videos for you. Do you have a burning fantasy baseball question? Ask me on Q. Go to askmeonq.com slash beat the odds, submit your question, and for a small fee, I will personalize a response and send it to your email. It's super easy to do, and it's a great way to get fantasy baseball advice while also supporting this channel. But wait! Be one of the first 10 to submit a question and you'll get it for free. That's right, go to askmeonq.com slash beat the odds right now. Back to the task at hand. What is wrong with J-Rod? Now let me start with one very important fact. He's still only 23. It's scary to think what his peak might look like in three years or so. Okay, so let's look at the history. He's had a quick rise in the majors, batting 284 with 84 runs scored, 28 homers, 75 runs batted in, and 25 stolen bases in 2022. He was a shoe-in for the AL Rookie of the Year that season. Now he posted a similar line in his sophomore season, increasing his home run and stolen base totals respectively. Julio was making a name for himself as a bona fide five-tool superstar and was getting the attention he deserved in drafts this year. But alas, he's off to a poor start this season. Let's figure out why. J-Rod started slow last year as well. He posted a 239 average of five homers in that season's first month. So we have seen this pattern before. Also, and maybe more importantly, he has played 13 of his first 19 games at home. T-Mobile Park consistently ranks last in Park Factor. And J-Rod has an OPS that was 65 points lower at home than he had on the road last year. So should you be concerned? Absolutely not. At least not yet. J-Rod had had a very strong August last season, showcasing what he could do at the plate when he's locked in. He is capable of putting together a 40-40 season, and as mentioned before, he's still only 23. There's more growth to be had in his game. He currently has poor plate discipline, but he does have the ability to send mistake pitches a long, long way. So what should you do about A-Rod? If you own him, don't trade him, even in leagues that count strikeouts. You would have drafted J-Rod knowing that he was going to strike out a lot. If you don't own him, now, I repeat, now is the time to try and make a deal for him. Maybe your fellow manager is impatient and willing to listen to offers on J-Rod. You need to be in that room when that happens. I think J-Rod will post stronger numbers as the season warms up, and his poor start is going to be a distant memory. So what are your thoughts? Leave a comment on what you would do with J-Rod, and of course subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'm going to sign off for now, but I will catch you guys on the next episode.